Multiple sclerosis is a demyelinating inflammatory disease of the brain, optic nerves, and spinal cord. Myelin is the protective covering that's on neurons. And in multiple sclerosis and demyelinating diseases like multiple sclerosis, that myelin is attacked by the immune system. And that immune attack leads to clinical flares or relapses that can be associated with symptoms. Most patients will make some recovery after an MS flare, but it's repeated flares and repeated attacks that leads to the disability associated with the disease. It can affect many different parts of the nervous system and that can lead to many different kinds of symptoms. Most often, trouble with vision, trouble with sensation, movements, coordination, those kinds of things can often be early signs of the disease. So a diagnosis of MS is often made after a comprehensive clinical evaluation and the use of important kinds of neurologic tests, including high-resolution imaging, often an MRI of the brain, as well as specialized scans of the back of the eyes and sometimes imaging of the spinal cord. So there is no cure for multiple sclerosis. I want to emphasize it is a very treatable disease. There are many FDA-approved therapies that can aid in reducing the frequency and severity of MS flares. So patients can live very long, very fulfilled lives with the disease. We have a great team of physicians and providers at the University of Maryland Center for Multiple Sclerosis Treatment and Research. It's a great opportunity for patients to come and get a comprehensive evaluation, as well as the diagnostics, testing, and long-term follow-up care that they need to manage their disease. With regard to treating multiple sclerosis, I think it's a really important aspect that there be good communication between the patients and their providers to choose a therapy and a treatment plan that aligns with a patient's risk tolerance and how they want to interact with their medications, as well as the potential side effects and the necessary monitoring. With that, these therapies can really lead to good long-term control of the disease, which can reduce the risk of long-term disability. Multiple sclerosis is a common disease. We think there are upwards of a million patients living in the United States with MS today. It is a disease that we do think is being underdiagnosed, and that may stem from reduced access to specialists, the kind of specialized testing that leads to the diagnosis and the kind of social determinants of health that may limit or um, delay the diagnosis.